Um, so we have one award to be presented today, an announcement, and an announcement of a new award. Um, we have a, a short conference film where you can watch out to see yourself. Um, and then we are delighted that Harm Reduction Victoria and Partners will be presenting the conference declaration. Um, and then you will sit through my list of thank yous and share my joy. Um, so I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Mohammed Karamuzian, a research scientist at the Center on Drug Policy Evaluation, who will present the 2023 Brooklyn McNeil Ray Award. Thanks so much, Naomi. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge uh, the traditional owners of the land we're meeting today on, and I'd, I'd like to pay my respects to their elders, past and present, and the Aboriginal elders of other communities who may be here today. And thank you so much for the opportunity to present this award. I'm honored to present the Brooklyn McNeil Ray of Hope Award on behalf of the Center on Drug Policy Evaluation in Toronto, Canada. Uh, the Center for Drug, on Drug Policy Evaluation collaborates with governments, affected communities, civil society, to enhance community health and safety through research on effective evidence-based drug policies. This award uh, honors the best research abstract in the area of drug policy and harm reduction submitted to the Harm Reduction 23 conference, as voted by a panel of experts. The winner received a waiver to publish in the peer-reviewed open access harm reduction journal, as well as uh, 830 Australian dollars. Conversion rates. <laughs> uh, the award is uh, in honor of uh, Brooklyn Ray McNeil, a prominent advocate for safer injection sites and a vital support in the lives of many people who use drugs in Toronto, Canada. As a harm reduction activist uh, whose life was cut too short as a result of an accidental overdose, Brooklyn's spirit serves uh, as a constant reminder of the need to conduct research and evidence-based advocacy to prevent the census loss of lives that could be avoided with drug policies grounded in evidence and human rights. In honor of Brooklyn, Ray McNeil, I'm pleased to announce that this year's award goes to Dr. Deep Nguyen for the abstract results after six month pilot implementation of the methadone take home program in Vietnam. This, this abstract uh, reports on a methadone take-home program piloted in three provinces in Vietnam in 2021 to improve treatment outcomes. Based on this mixed methods study, after six months, the program was found to be feasible and acceptable in both rural and urban areas with a retention rate of 88% and low rates of missed doses. Dr. Nguyen and colleagues found that both providers and patients acknowledged the benefits of the program, but providers' work burden was not reduced as expected. They suggest that relaxing treatment guidelines may help reduce the burden and facilitate expansion and sustainability of the program. I leave it to you to read about their paper when it's out. Unfortunately, Dr. Deep uh, could not be with us here to, at the conference, but Dr. Tam, who is uh, a co-author on the abstract, is here and will receive the award on behalf of their team. Thank you, and uh, good uh, afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's uh, our honor to be here and to receive the, this award. Actually, I work for the 
harm reduction program nearly 20 years. <laughs> mostly, mostly in the field of the policy development, uh, program implementation, and I also work very closely with the institution to conduct the research. Uh, with the purpose is uh, to do the research to provide the evidence for policy development. And uh, did a work also is uh, a great emotion for us and encourage us to continue work in the field of harm reduction. In uh, this occasion, I also would like to thank for the UN family, UNS, UNODC, WHO, and another donor like Grown Fund that's always hand in hand with us from the beginning of the Home Reduction Program uh, that provide both technical and financial support for us to do Home Reduction Program. And a special thank go to Dr. David Jacquin. He's uh, 50 years ago, he's a W consultant in Vietnam, and uh, we work with us from the fourth methadone clinic in Vietnam. And now we expand methadone program nationwide with more than 22,000 patients on methadone. And with the need and SCI program, we uh, now able to control HIV epidemic among the people who inject the drug with the HIV is hidden among people who inject drugs now in Vietnam around 0 0.5 per 100 person year. And uh, Dr. David Saka, thanks a lot for your support from the beginning. And I still remember you said that uh, at the first clinic in Vietnam, you only hand in hand with the medical doctor in order to avoid Vietnamese doctor killing anybody. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Once again, thanks a lot for the support.